It is tough times being an Uber and a Lyft driver. We got the illness. We are, if you're out there driving, uh, you don't know if your passengers are sick. You may be sick. We've heard of drivers getting sick. Uh, we don't know how we're going to get unemployment insurance. We live in uncertain times. And now Lyft has introduced a new feature in Seattle called Priority Driving Time. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what it is and how it could affect you if it comes to your market. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you whether I think this is a feature that is good for drivers or is it good for Lyft. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today I'm going to tell you about a new feature which is being test marketed right now in Seattle. Let's jump right in. So number one, what is Lyft's new priority driving time? So for you, the driver, the way it's going to look is, um, let's say, for example, your priority driving time is Friday from 4 until 8 in the afternoon. So if you, uh, that's your priority driving time, and you're driving during that time, what uh, Lyft is telling you is you're going to get a higher percentage of pings. You're more likely to get a ping. Now, if your priority time is not um, Friday from 4 until 8, then, uh, and you're driving, you're going to get less pings than you would normally get, right? So if you look at the screenshot here, you can see what it looks like. And these are all the different times in the day on a Wednesday, and none of these times are selected. But let's say your priority time was uh, the afternoon from 11 a.m. to 4, well, then that would be highlighted, and that would be your priority driving time. So what you would want to do to maximize your revenue is drive during the priority driving time. Number two, why this new program and why now? Well, it makes sense because there are less drivers driving. So what Lyft is trying to do is control where, when drivers are driving so that the demand is being met. Number three, priority times are unique for each driver. So you may have priority times that kind of work with your schedule one week and then the next week they could be completely different. Okay, you don't have any control over that and I think it's important that you understand that. Lyft is assigning you these priority times and they can differ week to week and from driver to driver. Number four, my take. No good. I do not like this feature for several reasons. First of all, it's just Lyft exerting its force on the driver again. At a time when uh, Lyft and Uber are trying to tell the world that we are independent contractors, here they are controlling, here's Lyft at least, controlling our behaviors by giving us more pings as during certain times of the day and then different pings at other times of the day. Don't like that at all. Shows absolutely no respect to drivers because each week your schedule can change, right? One of the things I liked about driving was I could get into my regular schedule. I could know exactly where I wanted to be at different times of the day. I mean, I'm a professional, you know? I'm out there and I know where I need to be to make the most money. Well, this throws this all out the window because now I'm beholden to Lyft and the schedule that they assigned to me. Not even taking into account the fact that we're out there driving sick people around, not knowing if we're gonna get this illness. And on top of that, now we got to adjust our schedules because Lyft has decided they want to institute this new program. So I don't like this. I said in the beginning I'm going to tell you if it's good for Lyft or good for the drivers. Good for Lyft, not good for the drivers. Not good at all. At a time when we have this illness sweeping the world, right, and for the drivers that have to keep driving to make money, now you got to negotiate this. If there's any silver lining in all of this, it's that it's only in one market. Sorry, Seattle, you're one of the you're one of the, the markets that's been hit the hardest with the illness, and now you got this to contend to. Let's just pray that Lyft just leaves it in Seattle, or even just takes it out of Seattle and banishes this thing altogether. Uh, but the silver lining is it's only in one market. So hope it doesn't come to your market because it's just going to make your job that much harder. Everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We're going to bring out good content. We're going to keep you up to date on what's happening around this illness, the different options that drivers have.